Hey coaches, Joe Salas. Uh, we're continuing with our insertion. Today we're going through our 90 game, four day insertion, four 90s. Uh, we start out day one with our shallow, which is 90 to us. Day two is our four verts, uh, which is 96 to us. Uh, day three is our Y cross, which is 95. And then day four is 94, which is our Y sail. So all very traditional uh, air, raid, uh, air raid 90 game. Uh, I went ahead, I'm going to draw this thing up against too high. I, I don't get a lot of too high, at least on first and second down. I, I think the teams have trouble stopping our, our run game uh, with a too high look. But third down, sometimes teams will go ahead and go too high on us. So we're going to draw it up, kind of change it up from the first couple days and draw it up against uh, too high. So we're starting out what we call 90. and. Uh, this is kind of a jiu-jitsu thing. I, I learned this in jiu-jitsu. We, we, uh, we put in just our shallow right. And then as we get into the season, once we get good at 90, then we'll go ahead and put in 91, and it seems to just go easy for us. So, uh, so that's how we do it. So 90, uh, this H, uh, this is our speed guy. This is the guy we like to run jets with. This is the guy we like to run shallow with. We like to run bubbles with them. Well, this is our fast guy. So this works out perfect for us. So uh, starting on the, on the right convert, 90 to us, and we're going shallow to the right. So we got a vertical stretch the field out of the Z. We've got the H coming flying across on the, uh, on the shallow, and he does not stop. He keeps running. We got the Y on a 10-yard dig, and he is finding the first window he can find at 10 yards deep. We like to take this X and run them on a post to try to influence this F, uh, this three, not to come down and mess with this dig route. Then uh, we, we move the F over away from, you know, the, the back's always gonna be away from the shallow. So he's on a check, check swing. Uh, he's checking his play side backer for blitz before he swings out of there. Here's how the progression works. Uh, we will, We'll allow a quick peek at the, at the uh, Z, meaning if they forget to put a corner out there, we expect our guy to be able to throw it to him, but he is not in the read. So we're on a three-step drop. After he hits his third step, he's starting his fast feet. He is checking for color. So this is one, then he'll come back to two on the dig, then three. Uh, I'm not gonna draw off the front. I'm not gonna talk a whole lot about pass pro. We are a vertical set team. We take big on big. Uh, the back's got one and the quarterback's got the other. So that's just how we do all 90s. We're always a vertical set. We're always big on big. All right, so this is 90. So quarterback's looking to his right. He's looking for color. If he sees color outside the shallow, he knows that he's working back for dig to back. If there's no color outside the, uh, in front of the uh, shallow, we're gonna take that easy throw over and over and over. So again, uh, I have a, uh, I, I always wanna get the easy throws. When we, when we took the, uh, the vertical read off of this route, all of a sudden our percentages shot way up. Obviously shallow is a great, you know, all the 90s are good against all coverages. It's a great, it's a great man call. But by taking that vertical route, you know, I've had it where he runs a post. I had all different kinds of things out there, but our percentages were low on this thing until we took it off and just said, all right, shallow's gonna be number one. Let's find them, let's hit them. All right, day two. Day two, we're going 96, which is the uh, traditional uh, four verts. I think all air raid guys uh, would like to make a living on four verts. Unfortunately, it's, uh, it's easier said than done. Here's, uh, here's the big rule on four verts is these inside guys, they got, they got to know if they got a roof on them or not. They got to haul tail and get 12 yards deep and then make a decisive decision. That's a, that's a leechism. Make a decisive decision at 12 yards deep and, and uh, let's live with what we got. So uh, the way, you know, uh, if it's a one high, we're, we're, we're playing the two-man game with the one high safety. So against two high, now you got to work for it a little more versus two high. So here's what we got. X is the number one read. Quarterback's taking three-step drop, and he's going to hit the, uh, if he likes it, he's taking the, uh, he's taking the X. Uh, F is check, check, swing, and then he, uh, and he, if the backer doesn't come, he's taking it. All right, now, H, our speed guy. 
he has, he can, if there's no roof, he's taking it straight down the hatch. If there is a roof, then at 12 yards, he's gonna slam on the brakes and find his window. So let's say that this is the 12 yard. He is hauling tail. Usually he'll have to outside release. This guy will expand on us. He'll outside release them. If this safety is getting depth, then he is gonna slam on the brakes and find his hole after he gets to 12. Uh, if, the, if there's no roof, this guy expands. He expands out or, which he'll sometimes do, those safeties will both get out, or they, we catch him rolling into a three for some reason, then he'll take it straight down the hash and we're looking for a home run shot. He is the number two look. Then, number three look, same deal. If this is our 12 yard level right here, he, this guy's gonna expand, he's gonna have to get around this guy, but he's got all the freedom. Now he can curl it up. He can, if there's no roof, he can run. He can post this thing to the middle and it's too high. He can even work this thing outside. He, he's the freedom guy. He, again, this is our bigger guy. He's probably a little better about finding holes, finding windows, and, uh, and he's the one that's got all the freedom. So it's one, two, he would be three, and then back would be four. And then we've done something, something we stole off of a YouTube guy, I think, is uh, we run this Z. He's really not hard to read, but we run him to 20 yards. He puts on the brakes at 20 if he hasn't got a ball, and he retraces straight back down the pipe, and he becomes a safety valve, which sometimes gets hit in a scramble situation. So, not four verts. Uh, our way of doing it. I know some people uh, let the H have the freedom also or change it up, but that's how we do it. If we go three by one, which I love it out of three by one, uh, we'll usually read the, uh, the individual guy first and then work it across that way. All the rules are still applied. Backside guys down the stem, all the rules are the same. We just always start our read on the single receiver side. And, uh, you know, we have the, uh, we have the stops, the uh, we don't back shoulder it a whole lot, but the way we teach the stop, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, just call 96 stop, and that tells the outside guys that we're gonna, it's gonna look like a back shoulder. We're throwing it to the back of their helmet. They're gonna catch that thing somewhere around 12, 12 yards is usually where that thing's coming down, but it's gonna be on a rope spinning right at the back of their helmet. They'll slam on the brakes and catch it. So that's 96 against two high. And again, if it's one high, we're, 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 there's no roof on the seams, so they're both flying down the seam, and he's working H to Y, taking the open guy. Uh, Coach important, make sure he's getting an outside release on these, on these uh, walk players. All right, next one, 95. Another good old staple of air-raid offense. Uh, y cross went a lot of time uh, where Y cross wasn't a big part of what we were doing, and uh, you know it's kind of made a comeback in my mind. 95, we're, uh, we're starting on this side. We're gonna go, uh, we're gonna skinny post and he's gotta clear, he's gotta be wide open. We're going uh, the wide, same, same air raid rules. Under the first, over the second. If you run out of bounce, you're running bounce at 22 yards deep. So it looks something like this. He's going in, he's getting over, and he's taking it. If he ran out of bounds, it'd be at 22 yards, but he can find any hole that he can find, he'll sit down in grass against zone. Uh, and, and you see, we want, we want this post back here to try to help this guy not, not mess around with our, uh, our cross. On this backside, we've got when we really like the post curl, it really times up good because we're going, uh, uh, well, let's get to H first. H is a new thing that we're doing. We're sending him on a 10 yard speed cut out and he is actually number one now. If we wanna get here, we'll, we'll have a little signal to get there. So the, the play works one to two to three and then back here, uh, I got all these numbers, back here to four and by putting him on the post curl, that thing times up just about right. So the quarterback's looking to the left. He'll take this one every time if he can get it. And then we're working here to here to there. All right, it's uh, old-fashioned old wide cross, except for 
having that H run a little deeper. If he's in the backfield coming out, he comes out at five yards deep. We figure that's the same distance he's used to running. He used to run a 10 yard route. So it looks like the old H option if he's coming out of the backfield, even though he's really tied to a uh, tied to an out route at the beginning. Uh, you know, we're always looking for that kid that can get the feel for that H option because it's such a such a weapon if you can find the right personnel. But I think it's it's highly tied to a personnel thing. If you got the kid that can do it, do it. All right, so that's 95. That's day three, wide cross. All right, the last one 90, uh, is 94. Sorry, I left that there. Last day is 94, day four. And it is just the old Y sail route. So, Y sail is, is on the right side. We've got a vert, a takeoff vert, a speed cut out at 10. Uh, because of speed cut, he's probably drifting 12-ish. Uh, we got the, uh, the swing by uh, the F. Then on the back side, we have the, uh, we're working post curl on the back side, and we're using a speed cut, the, the, the old, uh, uh, the old spider or speed cut out. And, and we like to play a little game right here with the wheel. So the true read is Z is number one, Y is number two, uh, F is number three. If we ended up backside, you would have the curl, the post curl coming out, coming open just about the right time. But we do like to play this little game. We'll, we'll get in situations where the H has a little signal that he can give the quarterback that tells him that this wheel, this walk, is lined up inside of him and he thinks he can beat him outside. If we're pretty sure that this corner is running with the X, then we'll take that. We give them, we give them uh, freedom that we feel good that the corner's gonna run with it and, and we, got, we got outside, we got that uh, wheel, that walk player flanked, then he'll give a little signal, quarterback will just catch it and throw it out there right now and we'll take the easy, the, the, the give me yards uh, every time we can. Uh, so we'll play that game between these two once we feel good about what they're, what uh, coverage they're in. And then uh, my experience has always been that 94 was the first 90 that we could get good at. I don't know why, but uh, we just kind of always came out the gate, you know, run early in spring practice, and we got pretty good at 94, first part of the season. Uh, 94 is always a, a, a good play for us. Then later on, you know, I felt like, uh, you know, mesh, 92 takes a long time, takes a lot of investment. 96 takes some investment. You know, you can get some cheap ones on the outside if you got speed. Uh, shallow uh, is the next one that starts getting good. And then, uh, and then slowly 95 will turn into a big play for you. So uh, the most instant bang for your buck to me has always been 94 followed closely by the shallow once we took that vertical the, the first read off of it so when we went to just the shallow as being our first read that that's when that became a high percentage play for us all right so that's it that's our four day insertion for 90s uh remember do all the youtube stuff if you like it like it if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe and if you have a comment, you know, I, I want to hear some good ideas just like you, uh, like you. So uh, hopefully you got one good idea from me. I want one good one from you. Thank you, coaches.